morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, shall we pray. Almighty God and Father, we come before you this morning. We give you thanks. We give you praise for what you have already done and what you're about to do. Heavenly Father, Prince of Peace, Great Emmanuel God, Great Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Great Jehovah Nisi, Great Jehovah Shalom, author and finisher of my faith. Father, we thank you for a brand new day. We thank you for life. We thank you for grace. We thank you for your mercy. Father, we could have been in the land of the dead, but because of your grace and your mercy, you have kept us. Oh God, you have kept us away from the enemies. Father, you have kept us away from the witch and the warlock, oh God. You have kept us away from the obiaman spirit and spells you have kept us away from the enemies lord we give you glory we give you thanks for what you have already done oh god almighty and what you are about to do father as i'm about to go live father i ask you oh god for divine intervention oh god cover this line i decree and declare mighty god cover youtube cover instagram cover tiktok cover facebook as we go live right now this morning oh god God Almighty, I present your woman servant in your hand. Father, I ask you for mighty protection. Send your protection around your woman servant this morning. Mighty God, cut and clear, deliver, Lord God Almighty, loose and set free. Father, keep me focused, O God, on the word this morning, O God Almighty. Let no disturbance, O God Almighty, seal the lip of the enemy this morning, O God Almighty. Father, as I present the people that joined the line this morning, O God Almighty, Thank you for them, O oh God. Father, I present Jamaica in your hands this morning, O oh God Almighty. Father, you see and know Jamaica, O oh God, by name and nature, Lord. You see and know the people that dwells therein. Father, I ask you, O oh God, at this time to intervene in the land of Jamaica, Lord God. Where there is wrong, O oh God, make it be right. Mighty God, where there is violence, O oh God Almighty, let there be peace. Mighty God, where there is sadness, O oh God Almighty, let there be joy. Mighty God, I'm asking thee, O oh God, at this time to touch Jamaica, four corners of the earth, the east, the west, O oh God Almighty, the north and the south. O oh God, you have blessed this island already. I know you will bless it again. Lord, we ask you for divine intervention, O oh God Almighty. Healing in this land of Jamaica, we love, O oh God. Touch the people that are depressed, O oh God. Touch the poor and the needy, O oh God Almighty. Touch the sick and afflicted ones, O oh God Almighty. Touch the ones that are confused. Touch the mentally ill, disturbed ones, O oh God Almighty. You see and know them by name and nature. Father, I'm asking thee, O oh God, to touch our children, our grandchildren. Mighty God, those who have great grand, Lord God, cover them. Protect them, I pray, O oh God, strength and redeemer. Lord, strength my loins this morning father you see and know where the enemy is coming from the east the west the north and the south oh god confuse the enemy this morning oh god almighty sabba the head of the serpent this morning crush the head of the serpent i decree oh god almighty and i declare lord and i am calling it done in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit because you are god and god alone there is none like you there is none before you and there will be none after you father father we see and know how the devil getting very out of order and bright oh god almighty want to be you want to take over the world want to take control of the people but father you are everlasting father you are prince of peace you are the great i am that i am lord god almighty have thine own way i pray loose my band this morning i pray oh god strength and redeem as it is written oh god so shall it be in the name of the father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit as it is written, O God, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Amen. I must say good morning to all the people that joined the line this morning. All the new followers, you are welcome. Thank you for joining in. Glory, hallelujah. All we ask you for is good behavior and all the divine followers that follow the line year in and year out. Thank you very much for being a part of divine live oh god i thank god for all of the divine followers without you it is not possible i thank god for you glory hallelujah so all those who have joined the line for the first time stay and be blessed and stay and give good behavior 
all my haters. I must say thank God for the haters. Glory be to God, all the ones that hate divine and try to sabotage. I give God thanks for you because without you, I would not be progressive. Without you, I would not be on point. Without you, miracles can come. So I give God thanks for all the haters as well. I pray that God will strengthen your heart, your mind, and soul to become lovers of divine prayer line. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without an end. Amen. All right, ladies, declaration for women. Hallelujah. Just say after me, and this is the declaration for women this morning. Divine is a woman of excellence. Call your name where I call my name. I am a virtuous woman, a God-fearing woman, a courageous woman, a blessed woman, a valuable woman. I was designed for a particular purpose. I am loved, protected, and empowered by God. Greatness exists in divine. I am aware that there is life and death within the power of the tongue. I declare that. I will endeavor to bless all those I come in contact with. I will bless and not curse. I am mandated to effect change and make positive impact in this world. I denounce and reject every negative thing spoken over divine life. Hallelujah, they will have no effect. I have everything I need to accomplish my purpose. I am all in my body, mind, soul, and spirit. I am blessed in every area of my life, physically, socially, mentally, financially, relationally, and interpersonally. Hallelujah, divine speak peace, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, and courage favor and success into my life and the life of my loved ones. I am special. Divine is valuable. I have a purpose in life with the preservations of God and God's help. Divine will accomplish her purpose. May the Lord bless these words. Glory. Hallelujah. We're going to get right up into the word. Glory. Hallelujah. It is approximately 15 minutes to the hour of nine. Our scripture today is Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 6 verse 19. Glory. Hallelujah. We will get into the word first and then we read the scriptures after. I have received the word before I have gotten the scripture glory hallelujah our title today when god is about to strike the church leaders our title today is when god is about to strike the hypocritical fakers church leaders not all but some the almighty god is upset of the kind of people that are literally running church these days but let me warm up and hear what the lord god almighty have in store glory hallelujah so the lord is getting in on the church today he's doing a cleanup campaign of the church so if you are on the line and you're a pastor or an evangelist or a prophet you can listen to the word and pick your part out of it the Lord is cleaning up the church and he's about to strike within the church. He's here to let you know that the judgment will start from within the churches. Are you ready for such event? Glory. Hallelujah. Let us warm up and then we get right into the word. So our scripture is Ephesians 6 verse 19 glory hallelujah give the lord some praise and says father we thank you for what you have already done and what you are about to do everlasting father prince of peace great emmanuel god great jehovah jireh our provider 
Great Jehovah Nisi, Great Jehovah Shalom. Psalm 27, the Lord is my light. The Lord is divine light and salvation. Who shall I fear? He is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they shall stumble and fell. Though an ocean encamped against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, this will I be confident. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's warm up, then we get right into the word. Praise that I, I must run and I feel tree to Give me power. the church are you guilty as a leader that runs the church are you guilty for leading the people astray when God is about to strike the church leaders dead hallelujah he's not just about to strike he's about to strike some church leaders dead yes, keep it true. When God is about to allow the devil to conquer, then I cannot be some of you leaders, not all, some you know yourself. Be happy. Taking God's word and God's word for mockery. I need some people to pray. So the Almighty God is about to strike some church leaders dead in this season for taking God for mockery. In this evening, I, for using the name of God for your own gain. You did not spread the word because you love God. You did not spread the word because you get a word. You spread the word because you want to collect. So please, you spread the word because you want to mock. Oh. You spread the word because you are a part of the agenda. Are you here? Are you ready to hear what God have in store to tell the church? I need for the people to share up the line this morning. Share the line as much as you can. I recognize a lot of you not sharing. You need to give me a hundred share this morning. Share it to all the pastors, all the church leaders. The judgment will be starting from in the church. Thus said the Lord thy God. I didn't say it. When it's time for president, it's time for president. When it's time for um, prime ministers, it's time for prime ministers. When it's time for the church, God is ready to talk about the church this morning. And he's about to strike some leaders dead. When he's about to send fire at some place, he send the fire. When he's about to send hurricane at some place and destroy some place, he send it right now. He's sending the message for the last time to the church. I am working for a robe on a star. And, he de and he deliberately give me the description of the pastors he's about to strike dead.
Are you ready to digest this? Prayer warriors, where are you? Make yourself be presentable. Put me up in prayer right now as we are about to tell the church what God says. So all my prayer warriors that are on the line, start pray up my strength. Pray up my strength. Hallelujah! If I'm not living for Christ, then I cannot be happy. that God uses so it don't matter who you are I am only a vessel that the Messiah used to come and warn you the Lord is warning the church leaders today and he specifically gave me description of the leaders some of your name has been called so if you are church leaders Prophets, pastors, evangelists, deacons, and you are living right, you are in safe zone. But he specifically gave me a listing for the agenda pastors. The pastors that are working underneath the agenda. The Lord God has sent your warning today. Holy Spirit, come down, Holy Spirit, come down. And the cross where I first saw the light. My God, somebody praise him. Rock your body and praise him. And Jesus' body make you rock him. Rock and give him praise. Hey, my God, on the cross, on the cross where I first saw the light. Right within the church, the judgment's gonna begin in the church. God ready to start jumping the church with the judgment. He's about to strike some people dead. I don't mean strike you to put you down. He's about to strike you dead. As it is written, thus said the Lord thy God. Hallelujah! I'm only a vessel that he used. Pastor, born those pastors, the Lord sent for you. Body piercing pastors, the Almighty God sent to warn you. Hallelujah! Tattoo pastors, pastors that carry tattoo on your bodies. Hallelujah! Born those pastors. Pastors that standing up on Rostrum in church with born nose. The Almighty God said to ask you, where are you going with that? All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. All things have passed away. 
And behold, all things have become new. Born nose pastors with the nose ring. I've got your name direct. Couple of you well. Hallelujah! Where are you going with that? Thus said the Lord I God. Born nose pastors. Body piercing pastors. Body tattoo pastors. Booty shaking pastors. Tight pants pastors. No nonsense, the man, not dynamic. No nonsense, demonic pastors. Soul sellers, pastors, agenda, pastors, LGBTQ, pastors, God is getting ready to strike a few of you dead. When I say dead, just say the Lord, I mean dead. When God said dead, God say, go and tell them, I mean dead. I am going to repeat again. I am hearing the Holy Spirit says, repeat it again. Ribbit it in their head for me again. Somebody praise him. Hey, my oh, God, I praise him. Hey, 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 hey. My God, my God, God said, Ribbit it now, them head for me there again, divine. Thank you, Lord. There is a race that I. Body pierced. 
Nursing pastors, warning! God is about to strike a few of you dead into such church. Using the name of Christ for mockery. For your own gain. To live lavish lifestyle. To collect offering from the people. To live lavishly. Stop use God. Stop take God Almighty for mockery. Plastic surgery pastors. The Almighty God is about to strike you dead into your church building. Thus saith the Lord thy God. Remember, Amber Alert, I am only a vessel that God uses to come and warn you. Who have an ear to ear will ear and who have an eye to see will see. The manifestation will come. So who have an ear to ear will ear thus set the Lord thy God. Hallelujah! Stay in your lane. Bombarding the throne room of God. God says stay in your lane. Stop bombard the throne room of God. With your body piercing. Your nose boring. Your body tattoo self. Stay in your lane. Thus said the Lord thy God, stop lead my people astray. Say the Lord thy God, if you continue leading them astray as if body piercing and bore nose is the norm. Think again. God is about to use you to set the example for the rest. I get a specific warning for a specific pastor. Your name is Pastor Lovelet. The Lord say you must stay in your lane. Gigolo pastor. God said you must stay in your lane. You were in Jamaica the other day. Placing your hands in people's head. Unleashing your demonic forces in the Jamaican people. I don't know why Jamaican people love God like this and blind can't see the difference between a divine pastor and a playboy pastor. Not because you see them in suits, dress up, and playing the role of pastor. That does not mean they are living the life to become a divine one to become pastor. Stop leading the people astray. Those pastors are agenda pastors. 
pastors, the playboy pastors, the gay agenda pastors, the seduction pastors, you come with the seductive spirits. Glory, lately laying your hands on the people, unleashing the seductive spirits on the people. Hallelujah, you're having a wife, but yet still you're having a mate on the side, and the mate that you have on the side is a man. I am speaking to the pastors here. Man, pastor, have them wife to show the congregation that they are married. But in the same breath, their lover on the side is a man. God is exposing a lot of you today. Bornos, pastor. Drop pants, pastor. Bleach out skin, pastor. Tattoo body, pastors. God come for you today. Playboy pastor. Gay agenda pastor. Side chick pastor. Pastor coming to church with his wife and also his side chick who is a man. Bore nose. The Almighty God is not in it. Many churches open their arm and hug you and welcome you into their churches to give God thanks that you are pastors, but they're still not seen beyond the physical that you are playboy pastor, gay agenda pastor, coming to inoculate the spirit of seduction in the people. We as a people need to start to can read the people who we are inviting to our churches. Before you invite these people in your churches, you need to read them and scan them through before inviting them to your territory to come and lay on, on your people because they are coming to your church, they are coming to your country with their seduction spirit, with their gay spirit to unleash in your people, in your congregation. Come on, blind Bartimaeus is Open up your eyes. Where is your discernment spirit? Can't you see? Why inviting these kind of no-nonsense pastors to Jamaica? Jamaica don't need any more pastors. Jamaica is full of preachers and teachers and pastors and prophets. Use the ones that we have here. A lot of us are too frightened for foreign this and foreign that and foreign everything and follow follow. When there are only the agendas to corrupt and demonize our churches and our people. Where is your discernment spirit to see? Who really invited some of you to Jamaica to preach? Haven't you heard that Jamaica have the amount of churches per square mile? We don't need any overseas past overseas pastors to come to Jamaica. How can you be leaders of Christ and not seeing with your spiritual eyes to see the demonic forces in these pastors. 
just the presence of the pastors, you can see that they are agenda pastors. They love a man more than how they love their wife. How can you invite a pastor on your restaurant with body full of so much tattoo? How can you Im invite a pastor to come on your restaurant with a ring, with a nose ring in his nose? Standing up on your pulpit to disgrace your pulpit with poor nose. Birds of a feather flock together. Thus said the Lord thy God. Birds of a feather flock together. The Almighty God is separating the sheep from the goat. He's, he's separating the sheep from the goats. He's highlighting the sheep separately from the goats. He's highlighting them in front of our own eyes. When they come to your churches and to your rashtam, your eyes can detect that they are booty shaking, nose piercing, body tattoo pastors. Where is the spirituality that is within you? Can't you see? Satan worshipping pastors because Satan taking over the church. Prepare a few people and putting them out there to pretend to be pastors, but they're they're they 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 what they are doing. They Satan prepare them, place them in the church to come and destroy the church, especially the kids. So they, they demonize them, send them in the church to let the kids think that it is okay to bore your nostrils and it is okay to wear a tongue ring and it is okay to wear body tattoos and it is okay to booty shake and it is okay to scam the people of how many thousands of dollars in the church that is what the devil send them in there to teach the younger folks. Satanic worshippers, pastor. Go and worship with Satan. Don't go into the church and pretend. Go and worship. Open a satanic church. Go and worship with Satan. Because you are a satanic worshipper. Why you want to camouflage yourself and come amongst God people underneath your camouflage? You're a satanic worshiper. Go and worship with the devil. Put on your arms and your head and worship with the devil. <laughs> Children of God, watch out now. God is ready to knock them dead. Children of God, watch out now. God is ready to knock them dead. Same place in your churches. They will come to church, stand on the rostrum to preach. And they will meet their demise right in the church. Some of them will fade, drop down. And never get up. Many ways it's going to happen. God is not in the plane of games with these. Drop pants pastors. Tight pants pastors. Boar nose pastors. 
coming to demonize our children. God is about to knock them dead. There is one that came to Jamaica the other day. I saw it on YouTube. Full of tattoo. Body full of tattoo and nostril bore. And he's on the rostrum with his bore nose. I don't know who invited him here, but he's here. Turn your Bibles with me to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to read verse 19. Ephesians 6 and verse 19 says, And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Glory, hallelujah. So, Ephesians 6 and verse, 9, and verse 19 and 20, verse 20 says, For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So I will not compromise the word. I will speak boldly. And let them know thus said the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. How can we be children of God? Claiming that we are born again. Baptized and serving God. And still into our old ways wearing tattoos on our body and wearing the nose ring in our nostril the tattoos may cannot come out but come on the nose ring can come out the nose ring can come out if the tattoos can come off the nose ring you wear can come out and the wickedest thing you are a man men wearing nose ring and preaching no respect for God no honor for God no dignity no love you just want to wear nice clothes and call yourself evangelists and pastors with more nose and tattoo skin. In this time and season, the Lord God Almighty is not into it. Glory. Hallelujah. Almighty God and you are still in the same way how you were you are not changed 
And if you find yourself wearing nose ring, tight pants, and you're still serving God, you're not changed. I just want the world to know same sex is an abomination. Same sex is an abomination. So it don't make sense you are running a church and you marry same man like yourself and telling yourself you can't you are not going to enter heaven don't fool yourself don't fool yourself thus said the lord thy god the heaven gate will not open for you Same sex is an abomination. I'll give you that in English. Let me give it to you in Patwa. Jamaican dialogue. Same sex is an abomination. To God. Very disrespectful. You break the laws and the orders of the Almighty God. You break all the rules of God and God is about to punish the whole world. The Almighty God is about to punish the whole world. And I want to want black people. I recognize every dirty attitude and ways you see other races have or come with your joint venture. If they go naked, you want to go naked. If they paint themselves in black tar pots and put arms on their head, black people joint venturing, painting themselves in black and putting horn on their head. Black people, my race, not all of you, but the ones who are doing it, you know yourselves, God is disgust of your behavior. How can you follow? Idiots. I come across a disgusting thing this morning on social media. I don't know where this is taking place. If it's in some place it's taking place where the people painting themselves in black tar, putting cow horns on their head, tying up their cells in chain, claiming that they are doing their party. I just saw it on social media just now. I'm going to look back again and see if I can um, download them and show you them. Black people literally pouring tar on themselves. I don't know if it's tar or black paint. Put on horns on their head. Putting big chains around their waist. And having a good time at some party. What is wrong with you black people? Don't follow white people. 
Because if they do it first, it's to get you started. Because they know they can lead you astray by a click of your finger. Why can't you be an example? I am not speaking all black. The ones that are joint venturing with the rebel parties that they're having. I don't know if it's Calypso or what. But the people literally paint themselves in black paint. And I don't know where they get these arms put on their head. And wearing chains around their waist. Running up and down like wild animals. Claiming that they're having a good time. Thank you so much, Miss Jones. Janet Jones said it was in Grenada. So Grenada. Should I call God to this one? Grenada, should I make mention of you to the almighty god this morning i wonder if god should have given you an example what if god should have used you as an example you need to be used as an example father i present grenada in your hands the people there, oh God, mocking you by putting horns on their head and painting themselves in black paint like Lucifer, putting chains around their ankles and their waist, claiming that they're having a good time. Father, show them a sign. Show Grenada a sign. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Father, show Grenada a sign. You call this out of place and out of order. Mighty God of Daniel, show Grenada a sign. Their body painting themselves in black paint. Put arms on their head. Representing the devil. And mocking you. It seems like the signs that you are sending at other countries. They are not getting it. Father I ask you today. To show them a sign. The twentieth day. The twentieth day of August twenty twenty three. Triple two, show them a sign. Big disrespect to the Messiah. How can you be human beings, especially black people, and doing such nonsense? You follow fashion too much? You follow styles too much and you follow idiots too much. When I mention that white, when I mention that black people is
is in is is organized organizer of the slave trade a lot of them were vexed but don't vex i live to see a lot of things so the question i want to ask you always mention that the white man enslaved you who gave the white man the opportunity to do so. I hope you don't come and say the white man make you become gay. I hope you don't come and blame the white man to put horns on your head and paint you with tar. I'm seeing it with my eyes. All the nonsense that you can imagine. The black man leading with the nonsense. Black people, aren't you, didn't you suffer enough? You know what I noticed? It seemed like you liked suffering. Black people, do you like suffering? It seemed like you like to suffer. Because if you did not like suffering, you wouldn't join venture to nonsense and participating in it. I am watching a lot of you going to hell back ways and front ways. A lot of these churches can close down, you know. A lot of these churches can close down and let the pastors go and rest. Because it's like the pastors are wasting their breath on a lot of you. The only time you remember God is when you're dying. You go to stress out a pastor, an evangelist, a prophet, uh, and the people of God for prayer. Stay in your lane. And if you are dying, hurry up and die. Stop going stressed out the pastors and the people of God to pray for you. And when you have your good health and strength, you are there reveling in tar and horns in your head. When you are dying, hurry up and die. Don't bother the prayer warrior to pray for you. You don't adopt nothing that is good. You adopt everything that is against the rules of God. You see them drinking blood, you're drinking blood. You see them working witchcraft, you're working witchcraft. Everything you see them do, you're doing. So when the destruction take you, who must you blame? Blame yourself. Blame yourself. Every day you complain. The white man did this and the white man did that. I am alive. And I am watching the world very careful. Because I want to see what the white man is doing. And I am also watching what the black man is doing. So if, you're, if you make yourself an idiot, the white man will continue making you an idiot. But if you make yourself productive and positive, the white man will join venture to be positive. I want to let you know today as black people you are leaders and you are leading the world astray. You are the originals of Adam and Eve. Black man was Adam and black woman was Eve. You are the leaders and you are leading the world astray.
Don't come and tell me rubbish. What the white man did. What he did. You gave him the authority to do so. What the white man did. You black people gave them the authority to do so. And black people you are on the line. Share the videos Jamaicans. Share the videos to your own Jamaicans. You see, I'm a black woman. And a very proud black woman. But what I just can't understand. Why my own black people are so stupid. Everybody come and con you. Whether you're educated or you're a dunce, all different kind of people come and trick you. Everything you see they do, you do it to and, and tell yourself it is the norm. I am here to let you know, my people, God is not into it. The Almighty God is not into it. And I am warning you as black people. Don't run to the church. Hiding in the church. For rescue. The church will not be able to save the beating that is coming. Don't run in the church. Forming church to hide. Because I am here to let you know the church won't be able to save you. Janet Armstrong says, Sometimes I wonder if black people have a curse on them. Yes. A big curse is on black people. And the curse will not come off until they change their dirty ways. Yes, Janet, a curse is placed on them. Who make the curse place on them? They make the curse place on them. If God said don't do this, black people do the opposite. So I don't want you to believe that a curse is not on you. A permanent curse has been placed on your life. Because when you do this kind of rubbish. That God is displeased of. What do you think will happen? A curse is put on all of those at that party. All of those that are at that party. That in painting in black and put horns on them head. A curse was placed on you. And when the curse attack you and you go into the church to get deliverance, the curse follow you into the church and knock you late the people in the church with your one curse. And this is how the curse spread. This is how the curse spread. Because when you do abominable things, and God place a curse on you. And you run down to the church to itch up behind the church begging for help. You carry the same abominable curse in the church. To inoculate the people in the church. So I don't want you to believe that you are okay. Curses on you. You realize all the race rise to power, you still at the back, suffering. 
Do the maths. Do the maths. Every other race rise to power. And you are at the back suffering. That is why they come now with a thing they call monetarization. Babylon have to come now to monitor you. Because you're acting out of the norm like you don't have no sense. So that is why they have to put in place to monitor you. to monetize you because you don't have any sense you do everything out of the norm you always get yourself in problem with the law you always do the wrong things you never try to do nothing that is right that pleasing to God so Babylon have to have you under monetization you can't look on somewhere and say I am not attending that party because the people painting themselves in black and putting horns on their head that cannot be good sign you have to join them to promote satan's duty i am sorry for all of you because the fire will burn you the fire will burn you Grenada fire more fire more
please write the date today's date on the line 20th of august 2023 god is about to strike some pastors dead in their own church write the date for me and please share the videos write today's date Write today's date, please. God is about to strike some tight pants pastor, born nose pastor, dead in their church. Write the date. You get this prophecy. Right beside it, born nose pasta, tight pants pasta, are prophets. I don't know what they are if they are pastors or prophets. Born nose, tight pants, and tattoo. God going to strike them dead into them church. I don't know how he's going to do it, but it's going to be done. Soul sellers, prophets, and pastors. The time has come for God's strike you dead. I know you are looking at me and wondering how could she say that I am only a vessel God using to tell you. The warning must come before the action. The warning must come. Before God's action. Today is the 20th of the month. Sylvia Jones is not the 18th of the month. It's the 20th. Friday was the 18th. Just write the date down and you remember I was in pink. Jacqueline Lewis, today is not the 28th, today is the 20th. Joan, Emily, you must always remember that even though God is loving, listen now, Joan, Emily. You says, my God is loving and kind, but you must remember God is a God of judgment. A lot of us only try to remember the loving part. A lot of us only remember the loving part of God. You always block. The judgment part of God. And this is something that we as a people need to accept. God is not just only loving. There is a judgment side of God when he decides to pour his wrath upon mankind. Not even prayer can block him wrath. So I don't want a lot of you Christians thinking that God only loving and kind. God is a God of revenge and wrath. And judgment. That is why a lot of people go into hell. 
That is why a lot of people heading their way to hell because they just lock it in their head that God is a God of love. God is a God of love. God is a God of wrath. God is a God of judgment. A lot of you believe you can go out and do nonsense, then come back to a loving God to save you and help you. That is why when a lot of you are on your deathbed calling God, God law you for dead. A lot of you take God for an idiot. I hate it when you guys behave as if God is, is an idiot. I hate when you play the role as if I am not worried because God loved me and he won't. Think again. You recognize what happened across a few countries with the fire? They have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Say, if God is only loving, I will never save them when the fire is born. God is a God of love and a God of judgment. So I don't want you to do dirty things. I don't want you to do dirty things and wicked things and you run to God for rescue. Run to prayer, warrior for prayer. That is why a lot of you get all the prayer you can't get and you're still dead. Because a lot of you only try to know God when you are in trouble. A lot of you only try to know God when you are sick and dying. When you are in your good health and everything alright, you don't remember God, you don't want to hear nothing about God. You must always learn to fear God. Fear Him and respect Him because you don't want to feel His wrath. Fear God and respect him because you don't want to feel his wrath. And a lot of people fight against people who are spreading the word of God. They don't want to hear nothing about God. But when they're in a trouble, they might call God. We are call God for. When you're in a trouble, you want prayer. What you want prayer for? When you're on your deathbed, you want prayer and people must come at your bedside. Come pray for you. Go on, go dead. You think God is going to spare you? You don't respect God. You don't rate God. So how you want God prayer? pray for you. You're dying. Go and die. You did not love God when you were healthy. You did not respect God when you were on your A game. Why you want God for now? God said I call upon you because you are strong. God don't want no weak fence. I have never seen people mocking God like now. I don't know if it's because we have social media. People just mocking God. It hurts. It hurts my heart so bad. To see how people mocking God.
But because I know that I am an ambassador, Ephesians 6 and verse 20 said, I am an ambassador for God. And I will speak boldly as I ought to speak. I will knock the truth to your head. I will nail the truth to your face. I will nail the truth to your head. Don't believe I will come and beg God for mercy. Anything that he, he give to you, you well deserve it. That is why I ask my people in Jamaica, be careful. Do the right thing. Because if you don't do the right thing, God not going to spare you either. So every day I have to pray up my country and beg the people, please do the right thing. Because when the fire drop in, I cannot pray and beg God to save you. You will have to feel it, the fire. I can't open my mouth and say, Father, save them. All I can say, Lord, remember I live right here. So when the fire set in, remember I don't finish your work here. That's all I can say. So I beg Jamaicans every day, amen from your dirty ways, your murderous ways, your killing ways, your envious ways, your bad mind ways, your demonic ways, your blood drinking ways, your vampire ways. As the wrath of God will come upon you and you and you. So the churches need to start teach the people about the God of wrath. Start teach the people about the God of wrath. It don't make sense you pretty up the story and tell them. I you know them are going to drop right now the fire. Teach them about the God of wrath. Don't tell them everything that they want to hear because you want to beg the offering. Tell them say fire go burn them. Tell them say fire go fall out and burn them. Fire go appear and burn them out. Kill them. Tell them that. God is a God of consuming fire and a God of wrath and God not take no chat. Don't be scared to tell them God not take no chatting. Don't be afraid to warn them. So all the people of God that are on the line and who is watching and not texting, do not be afraid to tell the people that God is a God of wrath, a God of consuming fire, and God right now not take no chattings. When I said chattings, I meant God not take no talk right now. God is angry. God is angry at how human beings behaving. I am not God. I am not God and I cry, literally cry every day. When I watch the behavior of the people. I have to pray and say, God, where are you? How do you make these no-nonsense idiots mocking you like this? Send them some fire. Oh. Send them consuming fire. And show them that you are still live, rule, and reign. I am not God and I cry many times 
to how they are dealing with God and mocking this man. The breath that you breathe, he loaned it to you. The body that you are in, God owned the body that you are in and the breath that you breathe and you are dealing with God like an idiot. But yet still when he send the fire, you are praying for help. What help? What help you are praying for? What help you want? God has having had enough of the nonsense. As it is written, so shall it be. Set the Lord thy God. Seal a sign. The Almighty God is a God of timing. Almighty God gave us a long stretch to enjoy ourselves and to make all the mockery of him that we want to make. But when he come forward and start to burn you with the fire, don't scream. Don't cry. Don't beg mercy because there will be no mercy for the merciless. The Almighty, the Supreme, the Almighty Creator has had enough with humans. Hallelujah! He has had enough with humans! starts in the church you know the time has come for the great destruction the great plagues and the great downfall of Saddam So the mockery has entered the church. Satan has entered the church. The church is now camouflaging. Showing you that I am the devil. Wearing bore nose and tight pants and tattoo. Because nobody knows the word like Satan. Satan knows the word. 
Satan was the angel of God, knows the word. As it is written, so shall it be, says the Lord thy God. The great judgment will begin in the church. Then after God finishes with the church, he says, the great fall of Saddam will be next. He has cranked it up a bit to show you that he's going to start. But I really don't know who sees the warning signs. Get your dollars. We are about to pray. Financial breakthrough. Open your kitchen cupboards. And we are about to pray. Let me do it right away. Almighty God and Father, we come before you this morning, O God. We present a financial breakthrough. Father, I'm asking you, O God, to touch our finances today. Mighty God of Daniel, four corners of the earth, the east, the west, the north, and the south, provide for us, I pray, O God Almighty, strength and redeem as it is written, O God Almighty, so shall it be, Lord. Bless us going in financially, bless us coming in financially, from the east and the west, the north and the south, I pray, O God, strength and redeem, amen. Find an um, provision, open your cupboards. Almighty God and Father, I present to God provision. Lord, I'm asking to God to provide grocery for us food. Mighty God, I ask of you, God, at this time to stock our cupboards, oh God Almighty, stock our, our refrigerator, oh God Almighty, provide grocery for us, oh God Almighty, we pray strength and redeem as it is written, so shall it be. Provide meat for us in the refrigerator, I pray, as it is written, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Amen. Coverage. Almighty God and Father, I come before you, Lord, I present coverage. Mighty God, cover you, woman, servant, O God, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Make me an instrument of thy peace where there is hatred, love, sadness, joy, despair, hope. Father, cover the people on the line, O God Almighty. Cover them, O God, to go their separate ways. Some of them going to church. Cover, 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 cover. In the name of the Father, cover us from untimely death, O God Almighty. Cover us, O God. Cover Cover our relatives, cover our friends, oh God Almighty, children, grandchildren, oh God Almighty, friends, neighbors, oh God Almighty, cover us, oh God Almighty, from untimely death, cover us from the plan of the God man, oh God, cover, cover, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you for the word, we thank you for the execution of the word this morning, Lord God Almighty, it was very smooth and collective, oh God Almighty, and I pray that this word was effective, oh God Almighty, to who it's supposed to be effective too. I hope that the people has received the word, O oh God, with good courage and faith, O oh God Almighty, as it is written, so shall it be. Hallelujah, 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 amen. I want to tell the people something today. The agendas are coming out with a uh, a new thing for your newborn babies. If your baby born as a girl, they want to ask you if you want to change your daughter into a man. I beg you don't fall for such trick. Do not fall for such trick it is to depopulate it's depopulation of the people so if your women become men and the men become women we, we won't have as much babies so your your race will cut down so do not join the agenda men become women and women become men you need to multiply and replenish the earth so your race and your lineage can live on. Your race and your lineage can live on.
if you realize the white men just study what is happening the white men are marrying a lot of black women study what is going on sean kettle say thank you for your valuable time thank you so much sean well appreciate thank you very much if you realize the white men are marrying a lot of black women today just do the maths correspond with me on the line if you realize right across the globe white men marrying all the black women across the globe you know why they are doing that they are trying to keep their lineage they are trying to make sure their race live on so the white man is very smart he's making sure his race and his family lineage live on so the white men going all over the world and marrying black women marrying them and giving them children so when you see them they're happily married they are not fighting they're happily married and having children as the lady have one child by the time that child reach one she's pregnant again having another one by the time that baby born they are having another one the white man is building up his seed building up his family lineage he want to make sure that his race lives on black men all you pick up is a lot of guns black men all you're doing is killing your baby mothers Black men, all you're doing is killing your wives. You. Black men, all you're doing is killing your children. <laughs> Black men, stop. Kill out your race. I have to debate a little bit about black and white. And I'm going to speak what I am seeing. I am not going to speak about the heads of government today. I'm just going to speak locally. The white men marrying a lot of black women. And getting children from them. The white men go around where all black culture is and buying out all the culture. The white men go around everywhere around the globe where black people is and buying out all the culture. You see that the white people are very smart. They're buying out every culture of the black man. I was watching a, a, a reggae show in Europe. Reggae Ratata. And the white man, they play in the band. And the white men playing reggae music. And back in the black artist and let me tell you something. It pulls me right back to the 80s and the 90s when reggae used to be top reggae. So I am here to tell black people across the globe, the white man buying out your culture and singing your music and playing your rhythm better than you. You have gold in your hands. Black people, you have gold in your hands and you don't know it. So now you're losing it. I am sitting down and listening to you now to say the white man steal. The white man steal nothing. He went and buy the culture. He bought it with his cash. I am happy I can live 
to see this day. I am happy I can live to see this day with my own two eyes. Black people sell their culture to the white people. And they are playing the rhythms better than you. Do the maths. I'm going to use reggae for an example. And I want Jamaicans to keep the conversation live up right here by texting. Most of the Jamaican reggae act weak out and sick out. Write it on the line. That is what I take my two eyes and see. Most of our reggae stars getting old, getting weak, getting sick. The older folks that bring reggae to the forefront. And the young folks that are here that is supposed to pick up what the old folks leave off. They are singing guns, killing, voodoo, skull, blood drinking. That is what Jamaica young people singing. So, there is a void and a gap. What the white people did, they see the void. And they see the gap. The white people start to write their own lyric and sing in reggae. And they, they have their white people playing the band and doing reggae just like how Bob Marley did. Jamaica, I'm sorry for you and your music. It is gone. White people took it. Because they realize that who is in Jamaica claiming that they are celebrity, they are idiots. I cannot curse the white people now. There is a void. There is a big gap. There is a space. Where they need another Bob Marley, another Bunny Whale, another Peter Tosh. Another, uh, another culture and another so so the white people take on the, the, the mantle. The white people take on the mantle. I watch reggae ratatana when I fold my hand and look. I say reggae is gone. Reggae is gone. And you know what they're doing also? They're searching the world for black women who are spiritual and have talent and recording them and promoting them. There is one girl I see. She's from Trinidad. There is one girl that I see. She's from Trinidad. Her name is um, um, Queen Omega. She took everything lyrical from Queen Africa. When I watch Queen Omega... On reggae ratatan, I have to look good when I hear the voice. If it's not I freak or that. The girl master the trade, she's a Trinidadian. She master the trade of reggae music perfectly well. When the woman dip into the culture of reggae music, where is Queen Africa? They stole your energy and run away with it. Trinidad took it. So I heard a lot of you complaining why the Prime Minister 
gave Trinidad um, soca music man the key. You see why he get they get the keys though. I said I hear a lot of you complaining. Why the Prime Minister gave the soca artist from Trinidad the keys to Kingston? You see why? Trinidad is master in the game of reggae. Trinidad is singing real authentic reggae music. They were on the big event in Europe. It named Reggae Ratatam. So when you guys finish, you can type in Reggae Rat Ratatam. Type in Queen Omega, Burning Spear, and all of them was on it. But it's only a few Reggae Aquas there. White people singing Reggae. And these little boys singing said they mad out. And singing rubbish. These little boys singing about gun. And singing rubbish and not seeing the bigger picture. That the real authentic music. Other countries stealing the thing. And gone with it. Don't curse and say the white man enslave you. You enslave yourself and make yourself be stupid. I am seeing it. I am seeing it with my eyes. Don't open your mouth and say the white man enslave you. I am seeing it with your eyes, with my eyes. And when the white man come to do you bad, you keep quiet. I am seeing it with my eyes. Jamaican people that claim that you govern reggae use a set of idiots. I will repeat it again without no apology. The people that is in Jamaica that claiming that you control the reggae business, you are a set of idiots. You block. The genuine jewels in reggae, you block them, you fight them out, and you're promoting garbage. Hallelujah! You're promoting garbage! And put some little no-nonsense at the forefront. Because of your stupid agenda. What do you have left here? Nothing. Beside your gay pride. What do you have left in Jamaica? Your gay pride. Rubbish. What do you have left in Jamaica? Your gay pride. Do you have reggae? No. Foreign, foreigner get the key for the city? Yes. What do you have left in Jamaica? Gay pride. Does Jamaica have anything left? No. What Jamaica have left? Gay pride. As it is written, thus said the Lord thy God, so me get this, so me give. If I never stand up and fight for Jamaica, I'll know Jamaica sign gay pride. 
And the people who will sing good music, wanna block them and fight them and push them back because to who no, who no can't get them to sleep with. So no keep them run back and push on no agenda a front. But I must applaud the white man this morning. Doing a good job. When you meet idiot, rob them. When you meet fool, lead the fool a little further. I shall clap the white man this morning. I shall clap, clap the Chinese man this morning. When you meet idiot, lead the idiot a little further. Stupid. Hey! Drop the fire red now. Me finish preach already, you know. Finish with the sermon. Me can talk up some things now. I am applauding the white man to them. Get him do a good job. White man thief reggae. Good job. Gap is there. Take it. Chinese man. Buy no Jamaica. Good job. Spears is there. Take it. When you meet fool, lead them a little further. So, black us, we claim that the white man enslaved us. Okay. You said they did, they did. They were the one that keep the big reggae event in Europe. You make them enslave us. Enslave us. You open the door and the channel and give the slaves to them. You want me to curse them? I will not curse them. The door is open and the gap is there. Take it. Want it all? Want it all? Want it all? And when you want it all, you lose it all. When you want it all for yourself, you lose it. So don't complain because the Prime Minister gave the keys to Trinidad. What are you doing for the music? Singing gone. And promoting prostitution what are you doing for the reggae music singing gun lyrics and prostitution the woman into g-string and naked and the man them in a drop pants i promote gay lifestyle and sing how much gun they have what kind of key you want? 
Give it to somebody who's singing sensible music. You want me to tell you how the Trinidadian women dress? The Trinidadian women, they dress like Rita Marley and Marsha Griffiths. They dress royal. Turban of their hair and their clothesline. When you see them, you believe it's a Marsha Griffiths or a Judy Mott or a Rita Marley. This is how the Trinidadian women dressing and executing reggae well. So the Prime Minister give the key to them. What are you doing in Jamaica? Wearing G-string and your butts are out outside performing so-called dance or reggae like prostitutes. He cannot give you keys. Prime Minister cannot give you key for promoting prostitution. You can carry me to the burying ground now. Puff all you want and puff and puff. The Prime Minister cannot give you no key. Because you're promoting nakedness, prostitution, drop pants, promoting guns, buying guns, and farming gang. He cannot give you keys to perform that. Him give it away to Trinidad. Vex now. That will teach you all a lesson. The older folks getting old and sick. And you wouldn't even pick up the reggae music and continue with good music. You come with your tattoo skin. Drop pants promoting your butt. And yes, still you're talking about you don't want no gays in Jamaica. And a lot of you artists wearing drop pants looking worse than a gay man. Take a look at a gay man. Take a look at a, a man that is gay. His pants is at his waist. A professional gay man. A man that is hierarchy in his profession as gay in pants than waist. And him shirts stuck in his pants well put together. If him not tell the same gay, you can't know. And you guys will wear your pants below your butt. Having the audacity cursing out people gay and you look worse gay. And you want, you, you want keys. Prime Minister will not give you keys. What you want the keys to do? To buy more guns? To promote? To sell? To kill more people? You want to cry, cry. You want to die, die. He has already given away the key. The Prime Minister know how to source a lot of you. <laughs> he knows how to source a lot to you. Well, my people, this is where we're going to take the program out for now. If you can't be good, be careful. Love God and live. Shalom. I will come back out in the week. To give you an update of what the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. Yuna. Anderson says what key. The Prime Minister gave the keys to the city of Kingston. To a Trinidadian Calypso artist. That's what he did. To show Jamaican entertainers 
who is promoting prostitution, naked dressing on stage, and drop pants artists, a sing about gun. Them not deserve to get the key. Him have the key to give away, him give it to a Trinidad. Yeah. So I guess Jamaican reggae artists will learn a lesson. The next time you go and sing Gia Kim or Gia to one of them white man we are singing reggae of France. The next time you give out an award, you go and sing Gia White Man from France. That is singing reggae music and playing reggae band. It will give Jamaicans a wake up call. When I see that girl singing like Queen Africa cry. When I see that young lady singing like Africa I cry. I have to get close to the TV. And Kimba. And listen how she execute her music. I cried. Because I knew that is Queen Africa style. She's working on. So all of you can go and watch her. Her name is Queen Omega. She sings and sound like Africa. So we need Africa to start record our music and put out and take back the stage. You cannot do so many work in reggae and, and give it up. And let somebody from Trinidad go with your vocals, your voice, sound like you. And execute our work like you. Go back for the mantle, Africa. And take what is rightfully yours. None of them no bad like you. She remix a little bit of Africa with Etana. When she walk. When she walk on stage and, flip and, and, and swing her hips. And move her hands, I am seeing Etana. I don't know if it's because I'm spiritual and I can pick up these things. Her gowns that she wear, I'm seeing Etana. But her vocals, I freak out. Okay, Sean Kettle say Queen Omega sings with Jamison. Virgin Masons. Hmm. Interesting. You see, when I speak, I like Sean, you know, because Sean. Sean know where I'm going. Sean say. She sing with Jamison. Thank you, Sean. Jamaicans don't know. So, Sean Kettle says, Queen Omega sings with Jamaican Virgin Freemasonry. <laughs> oh, Sean, I know you're spiritual, you know. And Sean says, the time is now. Tough like a lion. Queen Omega, Virgin Empire. Yeah, she took the mantle for my freak. I don't know if it's because I'm spiritual. 
she executes her music and everything and it's some white people manages her and promoting her it's not black people promoting Queen Omega it's white people from Europe And that's Trinidad. So the keys for the reggae has given away to Trinidad. <laughs> and the reggae stars that are getting old, they are sick. Some of them died. So the Prime Minister turned the keys over. To Trinidad, so you'll find more reggae artists coming out of Trinidad and also out of Africa. As it is written, thus said the Lord thy God. Things are taken away from you, Jamaica. I believe in you guys now. Take good care of yourself. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There is a race that I
Yeah.